Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Broly555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 series. We are starting a new season already. I know, this is season number four, or the 2009 season. And I'm about to start out the season with a top ten showdown in the National Game of the Week. So, last season, as you may recall, I opened up the season with the Gravy Man. He lost to me, 52-37, but he went on to go 11-2, win the Big East Championship for the second time in three years, and he once again beat Virginia Tech in the Orange Bowl, 59-51. As his reward for another great season, he got invited to be part of the ACC, replacing Boston College. So now he's in the same conference as Virginia Tech and Miami and Florida State and Clemson. And there are currently seven teams ranked in his conference, which he is the second highest one, I think, at number 11. I am the only ranked Pac-10 team in the preseason poll. And because my conference opponents are subpar compared to the first three seasons, and because there are no ranked teams in the Pac-10, at least in the preseason, I decided to schedule heavy. Garrett decided that since he had such a tough conference schedule, he didn't want to rematch me this season for his non-conference play. Instead, he took two of the lesser Pac-10 teams. So I replaced the Gravy Man with number 6 Iowa, who went 10-3 and last year, I believe. They were either in the top 10 or just outside the top 10 in the final polls. They upset Ohio State last year, a team that went 12-1 and and... I believe they finished ranked number two or three in the nation. So Iowa is a very talented team. And as you can see from the team ratings, they are actually more talented than I am on offense, on defense, and on special teams, and of course, overall. So this is, and I'm at Iowa, which is one of a tough place to play. So I'm really in for it in this game. But I return most of my team from last year at least on offense I'm missing key players on defense but I got enough talent coming back that I should be able to be okay on D this year hmm I'll give him this look well yeah I'll give him that look and I'll keep the green or the white. All right, here we go. Iowa on the road. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, I got lots of talent. Walker, who was my number three receiver last year, is now number one. He's a 92 overall. So one less overall point than Jay Will. And I made him an impact player. So basically, I lose Jay Will, who's a Heisman winner and super elite and his backup well i should say his guy who replaces him as the primary receiver pretty much just as good all right here we go we've got rainy conditions today for our game with the oregon ducks and the iowa hawkeye all right i can tell already that week one looks to have the recipe for what we think will be a very exciting season and here come the Hawkeyes. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Oregon needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead him. Jeez, come on. Stop glitching. It's that time. How about it? I'm picking the Iowa Hawkeyes. All right, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield for the coin toss, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Do, 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 do. Oh, they won the toss. What are they going to do? Oh, they want me to start with the ball. Uh, I like starting with the ball in the second half, but okay. Here it comes. Number two, Oregon. Number six, Iowa. Sends it downfield. Walker fields it at the seven. Here we go. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. All right, let's see if we can get Ty Hall going right off the bat. Yard, 
Sam Brown is now an impact player after his phenomenal freshman season. What the heck? A lack of concentration will push the offense back. Yep, the kid was in a hurry to block someone. You got to control that. First down and 15 to go. Come on, boys. There we go, Ty Hall. Nice run. Six yards. All right, let's see if we can get Fuller on the out route. Do, 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 do. We're just going to keep the machine rolling from last year, baby, when we had the number one offense in college football. All right. Na 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 Walker! Bye! See ya! That's what you get for not putting people over the top! You know, you let him know, Walker. You let him know. <laughs> yeah, they took away my scramble, but they put nobody over the top, and well, that's what you get, baby. <laughs> I like it. I think they might have gone just a little too far. Yeah, Sam Brown says, yeah, I, I'm better than last year. Boom. Now let's see if we can play some defense. Iowa's got an A offense in terms of their team rating on there, so we're up against it. I lost a lot of talent at linebacker, but I do return Martin at the linebacker, and I got a whole new batch of defensive ends, and I have solid defensive tackles. My secondary guys are good, though. What do you guys think of this matchup? This will be a classic matchup. If anyone is going to stop this running back, it'll have to be this linebacker. Oh, Martin almost got the strip. And it's going to be a lot of hitting down there in that field today. Come on, defense. Got to get a stop. Iowa lines up with three receivers. Nice. Good job, bro. That was great pursuit on the edge. Yeah, I recruited a lot of really good, like, four-star uh, defensive ends to replace all the ones that graduated. So they're going to be monsters in a year or two. Really? Really? Wow, that's BS. Total BS. I had him. I don't know how I didn't knock this down. Jeez, that's just dumb, stupid luck. First down, ten to go. Come on, D. Got to bring the heat. Ace backfield. He looks to throw on first down. Toss is short. Got it. To the senior. Jeez. Yeah, my pass rush is not going to be as good as it was last year. I can tell you that right now. Those elite defensive ends and Boyd and number 40. I'm losing. I lost a lot. <laughs> a lot of sacks. Graduated. Intercepted by Fafita. The senior safety. Oh my goodness. What a play. Yeah, I said my secondary was good, but now you get to see it live and in color. Yeah, I bring the heat, and he throws it into a crowd, and there you go. That's textbook defense right there. All right, let's see if we can get Ty Hall going. Oh, geez. Nobody blocked that guy. Let's 
So you got Memphis. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 18. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Uh, I'm sending you deep again, but it looks like they're going to take it away if that safety over the top. Might be able to scramble and hit Fuller or something. Brown drops to throw. Looking. Brown with a bullet to oh, the Fuller, you moron. Getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. That'll bring up third down. Third down. Uh, come on, Fuller. You can do this. Yeah, I'm canceling that hot route. Oh, I almost got it. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, then get the taunting. These. Yeah, I don't feel like going for it from here. Boom. Fumble! D.I. recover! <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's hope his backup is ready to play today because from the looks of things, he might have injured his knee. Let's see if we can get the option game going. Uh, nope. That ain't happening. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. I'll have to try it anyway. Oh, really? There we go, Ty Hall. Nice run. I can't believe they gave that to me. All right, let's block for Ty Hall, boys. Oh, nice run, Ty Hall. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Let's see if we can get hit fuller. There's only eight yards between the ball and the end zone. Brown. Back to the gun. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Brown. Back to throw. He snags it. There we go. Good play. The screen is good for third and one. They spread out the defense here. Man, I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. They're loading up on the right side. Hopefully, uh, Walker can get the touchdown here. It's a pass on third and short. Oh, no, I was too slow. There we go. Field goal good. It's 10 0. We got some kinks to work out on offense with the new personnel, but we'll be fine this year. Have to learn to trust Ty Hall down there in the goal line. Or even a triple sow cows, just as long as they keep the offense out of the end zone. Did you just say sow cow? Yep, I dated one back in college. Man, that's a good. Boom! Nice job by Haley. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great good job, D. Quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Going with the shotgun here. The running back. Nice! Good job by 27. We are bringing the heat. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. 
Nice! Fourth down! Quick three and out. That's what I like to see. Man, my D is playing good so far. Ten nothing halfway through the first quarter and things are not looking good for Iowa. I gotta not gonna lie. Let's see if we can get them napping. Come on, people. Come on, get over there, buddy. It's not even a loud crowd. Thank you. Brown drops back to pass. Whoa! Uh, uh, why? I never let. Why does he throw it away on that? Hmm. Oh, wait. Why was it flipped? Uh, calls a timeout and they'll have two remaining. They line up at the 28. It's second down. Ooh. Ah, I don't like that look at all. Line up with four wide outs. Big dog, big dog. There we go, Walker. Good game. At the 37, and he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad. And that was a good pass and a very good game. They line up the 37. It's third down. Come on, people. We can do this. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Third and short. He's looking. He unloads it. Oh my gosh, Fuller. Really? Wow. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. I got to establish the running game or something. He really got a hold of that one. Number 89 fields it at the 18. Down the sideline. There we go. What a great return. A few things here, guys. Well, I got to get my offensive rhythm going again. by the returner of turning the ball upfield. He didn't have much to do. That coverage was horrendous. Number eight is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Hands it to the back. Oh, really? Jeez. What is my emulator doing? And he busts a big one on this defense. When this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop it. First and ten. Number eight, alone in the backfield. Over the middle. Really? Wow, that is BS. How did he get that through? I never expected to shut him out, but come on, guys. Yeah, I mean, that was an interception. He just totally whiffed. Wow, I mean, that's just BS. We should have picked that. To get within a field goal, they'll try to point after. All right, we gotta get going on offense, is what we gotta do. And he tacks 10 7. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Iowa is lining up to kick this one off. Receivers. Option left side. Now he pitches it. There we go, Ty Hall. First down. At the 35. That was a 
pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. First We've got ten. a first and ten. Ball on the Oh. Iowa lines up with five defensive backs. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. There we go, Hall. Good run. Hall gains around six yards on the run. Hmm. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own yard. Come on now. Whew. We can do this. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. We know how to do this. We've won three straight natties, three straight undefeated seasons. We know what we're doing. Brown, back to throw. He looks. And we're just going to run for this one. Oh, Sam Brown with the juke. And it plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. Well, that's why he is so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just takes off with all that speed. First from the 37 yard line. Oh, boy. The Ducks line up with three wide. Oregon comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Wow. Well, that's another timeout. No way I'm hiking that ball. There you go, Walker. First down. There you go. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. There you go. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Sam Brown's got that momentum, or not the momentum, the uh, impact player blinking. He's blinking, as I used to tell Gravy Man all the time. He drops back. Looks. He throws right. Oh, at least he didn't throw a pick. That'll make it second down. From the 19 yard line. It's second down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. And they try to set up a screen. There we go. Runs out at the 10-yard line. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Third, Third down to two. Ball of the 11. Come on, guys. Oregon lines up with three receivers. And they'll try to get the first through the air. Looks. And he gets it on the ground. Take that. So they convert on third down. Yep, not exactly the way they drew it up, but I think they'll take the first. All right, Ty Hall, let's get you going. Nice job of covering the receivers, and there was nowhere for the quarterback to throw it. He did a good job of just tucking it and running. Oregon comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. You'll get it again. Touchdown, Ty Hall. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. His first... Touchdown run as a starter. Very good, Ty Hall. Yeah, there we go, buddy. Just the drive we needed to respond to Iowa's touchdown. Boom. 17 to 7, just like that. Remaining in the first quarter, the score is Oregon 17. Iowa seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Boom. Well, I'll tell you guys, the passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And 
the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line when he gets time. Great start offensively, considering we're up against an elite defense. The Hawks come out in the shotgun. They hand it off. Ooh, there we go. Good run, D. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Good job, boys. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 22 yard line. Iowa sets up in the eye. Nice. 27 just got right in there. Good job, bro. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. All right. Switch it up on him a little, see if it confuses them. Iowa in a four wide set. Drops back to pass. He looks. He lets it go. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Fourth down. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. Do 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 do. Boom. Walker signals for a fair catch. Yep. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. And with that success running the football, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Right over the top for six. They'll, They'll set up shot at 39 yards. First and ten. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. Hall. There we go, Hall. Nice run. It's like five yards. There you go. Four, maybe five yards on the run. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. You're not actually going to let him go deep, are you? Lines up in a shotgun set. Hmm. Back to pass. Yes, you are. Oh, no. Darn it. I held on too long. Great. That was going to be an amazing deep shot to Walker. I just didn't get it off in time. Uh. The Ducks line up with three wide. Looks he wouldn't snap it. I I kept hitting the button. He's like, <laughs> yeah, you can eat me. Third down again. Oh yeah, and those types of mistakes still drives more times than not. Here's a third and long situation. Ball in the 29. Brown drops back. He's looking. Throwing right. And it's caught. First down, Fuller! Yeah! Third and long. The guy who was my fourth wide receiver in terms of talent last year, making a big play is option number two. We're going to run out the clock on this quarter and call it good. What a play by Fuller, though. First down. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Do 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 ba do ba do ba do ba do There we go. A long way yet to go. Seventeen to seven. Oregon seventeen. Iowa seven. Let's see. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the forty-nine yard line. Hmm. Set up in the gun. On the goo. On the goo. On the goo. Three. Pick it three. Inside four. Three. Pick it three. Brown. Look at the throw on first down. Jeez. Well, they read that one. For a loss. Drop back a yard. For their own 48 yard line. All right. Are they going to give me the outside run? Nope. They are not. Oregon sets up with four receivers. All right. There we go. Ty Hall right up the middle. Having a big day so far. It didn't look like 
like their instincts work too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of... All right, let's see if they give him the outside. Offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Oh, they are going to give him the outside. Okay, thank you. Thank you, come again. And Ty Hall is faster than Remini Alston was last year, so... Let's see how he does. Ty Hall with a big run, breaking tackles like he's Jonathan Stewart. Boom, Ty Hall. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when hmm. performance matters most. Brown with three wide receivers, so their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. All right, we're going to have to take the five-yard penalty on this one because... Or we just do that. I'll do that. At the 12-yard line, Hall gains about a yard on the play. See if they give me the outside. We've got second and nine here. No. Brown has four receivers lined up here. Paul, the lone back. Well, this sucks. Yep, taking the penalty. Not even that loud. Like. Mm. Jeez, well, they read that one good. Sorry, bro. They got you covered. And he gets the first down. Sam Brown. Nice. Let's see if we can get a Ty Hall in the end zone again. Come on, guys. Push forward. Get Ty Hall in the end zone. Come on. Touchdown, Ty Hall, his second of the day. Yeah, you tell him, Ty Hall. Yeah, you flex your muscles there. It's like watching another Jonathan Stewart out there. They'll line up for the extra point. All right. Boom. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Hmm. Oregon. To kick this one off. Number 89 and number 8 back to return. Wabuski. Decent kick. Number 89 fields at the goal line. Yeah. Kicker with the tackle. And we are dominating time of possession. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Number six. Lines up in the shotgun. Setting up play action. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, thank God he dropped that. 
that's gonna go down as a drop, my friend. Uh -uh. A very frustrating right, drop. I like the play Ball, call. I like the pass even more, but it really doesn't matter if the receiver can't bring it in. The Hawkeyes line up with a single set backfield. Oh, nice. There you go, boys. Good job. Ah, oh, darn it. Brought the heat, but got caught on that slant. Come on, D. You're a talented bunch. You can get a stop on these guys. Oh, nice. Nice hit. Iowa sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Looks. He throws. Yeah, TJ Ward with the interception. What was he looking at? Before the game, guys, the coach told me it was very important that his team win the turnover battle. Yeah, you tell him. Well, it doesn't matter how many yards you There was literally nobody there except me. Then you're usually going to lose the game. Hmm, let's run Memphis the other way. The They're on the right side of the 50 the as they start this drive. First and 10. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back on first down. Surveys or you can just give me that. I mean, I'll take it. Brown steps out of Sam Brown with the scramble. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great First play and, and really gave his Ball team a boost. 29 yard First down, 10 to Ooh. go. Ball in the 29. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Brown back to pass. Looking. The Cavalry. Well, there you go. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. They line up at the 27. We do. Oh, it's an outside run for Ty Hall. Outside run for Ty Hall. He's going to get 100 yards in the first half. Hold on to that ball, bro. All right, that's 100 yards. All right. Brown lines up in the shotgun. <sighs> okay, we're doing good. Halfway through the second quarter, we're up 24-7. No need to panic. No need to rush. Just own the clock. He's looking to pass. Looks. And now he's going to improve. Oh, I should have hit Walker, but I thought I could. I thought I could get that. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Why not? So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. They come out with three wide receivers. All right, come on. We can do this. Either we're going to scramble for it or we're going to hit Fuller. It's going to be one of those two. And we're going to get it. We First down. Oh, Sam Brown breaking tackles. Oh, there we go. And they get a first down. What's amazing about that play, Brad, is was there was a communication breakdown. It appeared as though the receiver and the quarterback were not on the same page. Yeah, nothing open downfield. And Ooh. the quarterback makes a great decision to take off with it and convert on fourth down. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Jeez, nice run. That run just put him over 100 yards, and we're still in the first half. We have a long way to go in this game, Kirk. This kid has potential to finish this game with a heck of a lot of yards. Yep, and if this offensive line continues to block the way that they've been blocking, then there won't be anybody stopping him. 
All right, owning the clock. See if we can get Fuller in the end zone. Easy touchdown for Fuller. All right. Boom. And he adds the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. Number 89 and number eight. Back deep to Boom. There you go, buddy. Oh, there we go. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal when they smell Ooh. blood. They the kill. Take over. Have a eighteen-yard run. Hey, that's why, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Iowa lines up with three receivers. He looks to Come on, get him. Number six. Ah, oh, darn it. Make the stop. The thirty-seven yards. That was such a tight window. He threw that through. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. Come on, defense. Let's get a stop. I know we forced three turnovers so far, but I'd like another stop, please. Oh, what a hit. Man. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Come on, D. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number six with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. He's looking for his man. How did he catch that in double coverage? That is not fair. How? I was there. Jeez. And again, these guys are one of the top teams in the country in terms of talent and not just ranking. One man back Oh, nice. That's how you bring the heat, boys. Boy, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to a nice play. That'll make it second down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41. Iowa sets up in the eye. Throws it out there. Nice. Third and long. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Four wide receivers in the formation. Nice. Number 27 bringing the heat. That's how you do it, boys. Jerome Boyd, who? Number 27 says, I can fill that role. Look at me get to that quarterback. Man, my defense has not lost anything from last year, despite losing all that talent in the starting lineup. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out on the field once again. And it'll be interesting to see if this hmm. defense has made any adjustments. They'll take over the 20 yards. Because they sure couldn't stop them from going down the field and scoring on hmm. that last I don't trust this look. lines up with three wide receivers. Let's see if we can get Mr. Uh, Perry out. Oh, I think we're going to do it, baby. I think we're going to do it. Drops back on first down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not hit that button. I just got screwed out of that play. All right, well, um, wow. I could have swore I was holding the sprint button down the whole time. You should not have thrown that. Going with the shotgun here. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. White 33. Drops back to pass. Looking. Well, there we go. First down. Pushed out of bounds at the 32. So 
So that one goes for a decent gain. And guys, his running ability sure makes him hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, First it just 10. adds another Ball element to your offense. Yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Brown steps back to pass. Looking. Well, I'll scramble for that first down and break a tackle while I'm doing it. Sam Brown going into Heisman mode. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. Hmm. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Oregon lines up with a shotgun set. Brown options out. Ty Hall holds on to the ball. Thank you, bro. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals. Very successful. Boom. Really good on this drive, coach. Needs the great option I ran there. Or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. And Sam Brown is just ugh, to the next Brilliant level running the ball. First down. Man. Iowa. Lines up in a dime defense here. <laughs> Look at the throw. Looks. Rolls to the right. He zips it out to the right. Fuller with the great catch. How about that nice. Pass, well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, oh, he'll yeah. make you pay. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. Yeah. Oregon lines up with three receivers. <sighs> All right. Just going to keep grinding the clock. First down. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't you sure about that, bro? Be any different. All right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. At the two yard line. A decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, it'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. Here they go. The defense backed up into their end zone. Three wide outs here. The field. And Sam Brown runs for a touchdown. Yep. It is mass destruction in Iowa. For the extra point. the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. Boom. Number 89 from his own end zone. There we go. The offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. Bring the heat. Here's Bring the, the heat. Statistics. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. Yeah. The Hawkeyes line up in an I formation. Yeah. A little misdirection. Oh, Martin says no to drugs and running backs. Boom. Boom. You 
Take that, Buttercup. They line up at the 22. Second and eight yard. And it looks like it's halftime. Halftime score, 38 to 7, me. Two quarters, and it hasn't been pretty. Our score, Oregon 38, Iowa 7. Well, this is as one side as it can get, pretty much. Out gained him 397 to 176 in yards. Out ran him 227 to 9. Out passing them 170 to 6, 167. I'm 3 of 7 on third downs. They're 2 of 5. I'm 1 of 1 on fourth downs. They have three turnovers. I have none, and I'm dominating time possession already. Sam Brown is 12 of 18 for 170 with two scores and no picks and has 12 carries for 100 yards and a score. Ty Hall has 15 carries, 127 and two scores. Walker is 8 for 127 and a score receiving. Fuller has 4 for 43 and a score. Great work all around. All right, let's get this party going. Got to play some defense first. Got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Boom. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number eight from his own end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll, They'll get the ball the here at the 20. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. <laughs> Accidentally unplugged my headphones. Whoops. Iowa comes out with an eye formation. They're going to pitch it. Nice. User tackle. Love says no. These guys can't run block to save their lives. It's weird. I, mean, I have an A minus defense. I'm pretty talented, but it's just weird. Is the single setback. Look at the throw. Dumps it. And he pulls it. Jeez, third and short. At the 30 yard line. This kid has some springs in his legs, Kirk. It sure seems like it. He also has some pretty good hands to be able to go up and make that catch to give his There we go. Fix my headphones. There we go. First and ten. Ball on the thirty. Oh, they got the first down. That's BS. Iowa comes to the line with three wide. He spins. Oh, get crushed. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Boom. Jeez. He's just getting crushed everywhere he goes. Iowa lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He looks. Let's it fly. Ah, threw it to nobody. Third and seven. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Do do. Ball on their own thirty-three. Three wideouts here. Oh, yeah, defense forcing the fourth down. Wow. I thought for a second they were going to get that first down, but that was a great tackle on the edge there. Davis punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Walker calls for the fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense goes out onto the field for their next possession. The offense will take, take at over the 15 at the 15-yard line. First and 10. Hmm. Oregon lines up with three receivers. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Hmm. First down, look at the throw. He's looking. He wants it all, and he might... Ah, oh, man. He had a guy open and missed him. Oh, man, the coach is going to pop an assets over that one. They missed getting a huge play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Cat, 82. He's looking to pass. Looks. He delivers. Na, 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 Fuller with the catch. There you go. Nice play. This is simple screen play. The defense does a horrible job here of shedding their blocks. Allowed the ball carrier to squeeze ten. through there for a nice ball game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the forty-two. The Ducks line up. All right. Five. That was a beautiful play to Fuller. Brown drops back, swings it out to his man on the screen. 
There we go. And he gets a touchdown. There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 So the kicker lines up for the PAT. Boom. And he converts the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Number 24 looks ready to kick this one off. Oh, well. He kicks it. Number eight from his own end zone. Boom. Nice tackle, Brown. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it. Take over. I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. Play action. He throws it. Oh. And man, he missed a guy who was all alone. Man, does that hurt? He threw up a great play, but failed to execute. Second and, it's second down and ten to go. Need to get back to running the ball. My next offensive possession. Iowa lines up in a shotgun set. Steps up, surveys the field. Number six. Oh. Over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 32. How about that pass, fellas? You know, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Number six has four receivers lined up here. He drops back. He lets it go. Catches it. Drop back four eight, yards on that one. Seven. Seven. Loss of four on the play. They line Second up at the 28. Hmm. Second down, 14 coming up here. Come on, D. Let's get a stop. The Hawks line up with a single set back to you. Half back pass. It's complete. Oh, nice tackle by Fafita. Come on, D. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll try to get the first on Oh, they got it. They got it. He picks up the first on that run. This is what is called the old counter play. You see the lineman pull one way. The play is designed to go the other way. And here the tailback picks up nice yardage and another first down. Iowa goes with the ace set. Here. Boom! What a hit by Minamichi. One of my new defensive ends that I literally recruited this offseason. Making his presence known in the third quarter. That's how you do it, boys and girls. Yeah, I may have a bunch of new guys, but they're just as dominant as the old guys from last year on defense. Intercepted by Walter Thurman the third. What is going on here, guys? They've just been outplayed and outcoached out there. Anything and everything. Man, bringing the heat on D. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Please block for Ty Hall, everybody. Ah, it's like four or five yards. Five yards. They line up the 49. Ah, they don't want me to. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. Brown drops back. Ah, I didn't see the pressure coming. Didn't see it coming. That would have been a giant play over the top. I was looking right at it. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Hawks bring in their dime package. Okay, well, I got a little too greedy there. I wasn't really ready to run the play. I hiked it too early. Brown, back to throw. Looking, Brown throws. First down, Fuller again. There we go, buddy. And that pass 
He's having a big day. Yep, they got the first down, but it wasn't by much, you guys. See if he can run another option play. First down, ten to go. Hmm, will they let me? Oh, uh, I don't know about that one, George. Lines up with three receivers. Oh boy, <laughs> this could end badly. Oh, geez. Wow. Jeez. Second and long. They line up in the shotgun. And now he's going to run. Nice. Third and short. Same play the other way. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Rolls to the left. And we're going to scramble for that first down again. There we go. And this quarterback has just hit the century mark on the ground. Coach, he kind of plays like you did when you were Florida State. I can see that. Right. However, he's not going both ways. That's right, my friend. The Sunshine Scooter was playing both ways. You were under center and playing defensive back. All right. I'm actually going to try running this thing up the middle where it's supposed to go. There we go. It spread the field so wide, I had to do it. Job of picking up the blitz. Yep, the defense over pursued the play, and it helped them get some good yards. Second, Second and two. two. This is the eighth oh, play of this yard. Huh, looks like we might get this wide run after all. All right. Oh, he breaks the tackle and gets the first down. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Hmm. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Ball on the six-yard line. Oregon comes out in the shot. Oh boy. At the five yard line. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. Second, Second down. Ball on the five yard line. Hmm. Please Everybody block for Ty Hall. Oh, geez. Well, there's your first down. Face mask. He took him down using his face mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to bring a man down. Watch it off, Rebs. They're threatening inside the 20. Please block for Ty Hall. Come on. Let's get him number three. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Please. Oh, geez. Well, and he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. They line up.
up in the gun, looking to spread out this defense a bit. Right. Got the long drive going. Let's keep it going, baby. Brown, back to throw. And touchdown, just like that. And this guy is turning in one monster performance. No doubt about it. That's his third touchdown of the day. Kirk, how's he getting so wide open? It's really not too crazy. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. Do do do. Do do do. That was a nice long drive, just like I like him. Boom. He makes the PAT. That was 12 plays, 56 yards, 459 off the clock. Perfection. Number 24 is lined up to kick this one off. Boom. He hits a booming kick. Number eight fields it in the end zone. So the offense will come out and try to turn things around after an interception on their last drive. The quarterback has to get that interception out of his head. You can't be scared to keep firing away in this game or the defense will tear you apart. Number six comes to the line with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Throws. He's hit. Boom. They'll bring him down at the 33. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them. And yeah, they well, and held them long enough I was a great the team. They probably go on to win down. 10 games is my guess, but they are no match for me, buddy. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Number eight lines up in the deep back. I formation. Uh oh. Jeez. Well, there's the first down. Their star running back. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? A thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. The Hawks are lining up with three receivers. On play action. Oh, really? To the 20. To the 10. And he got it. Eh. The wide lucky, lucky. Down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Well, these guys are great on both sides of the ball, talent-wise. So they're bound to make a couple plays on me eventually. Jeez. All right. Lines up for the PAT. Blocked. Blocked the extra point. Fifty two to thirteen. Sends it off. Hall fields it at the three. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. I think they'll continue to pound it out, Brad. This offensive line is doing a great mm. job of blocking, the and their Thomas running backs are finding the all the holes. Yards. It's not broken. First Don't fix it. I agree. I think they're going to keep pounding it in there until this defense can well, stop. You want to take away my option. First down, Sam Brown. At the 37 yard line. And a big gain on a quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do was run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness Ooh. of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. All right, please block for Ty Hall, ladies and germs. This is probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. Oh, really? Ah. Hall picks up two yards with a carry. Second and eight. Ball on the 39 yard line. Yeah, we'll let the quarter run out. 
Brown lines up with four wideouts. End of the third quarter. I'm ahead 52 to 13. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Oregon 52, Iowa 13. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 39 yard line. I have an outside run here. Sets up with four receivers. The running back has it. Ooh, that's like what? Six yards? Seven yards. Five yards from the halfback. Third it's third three. down. Ball on the 40. Hmm. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Brown, back to pass. Looking. He keeps it. There we go. First Step down. The 46. And he has a huge gain. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees First some green in front of him, and he takes Ball off. Ends up with a great run. Ooh. Oregon lines up with a shotgun set. Please block for Ty Hall. Please block for Ty Hall. Uh, four yards, five yards. Oh, really? Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Hmm. Na 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 Walker. Ah. Almost got in. Well, as you can see, this guy's been a big playmaker all game long. In fact, with that last grab, he just went over 200 yards receiving. See if we can get Fuller in the end zone. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. All right. Formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Drops back to pass. Ah, he almost got in. Couldn't get anything out of that. We're right to Fuller again. Second down. They set up in the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. Brown set to go the air. Jeez. Trying to get him the ball in the end zone, but. He just doesn't want it, I guess. Third and goal. goal. Ball and this is the ninth run. play of the current drive. Block for Ty Hall, please. You know what? They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. I'm reconsidering this. Nah, I'm just kidding. He gets it up. And the Fifty-five to thirteen. And there we go. Four and a half minute field goal drive. All right, starters are done. Let's put in Nate Costa, and McCollum will be second string. Lucas third. 
Mr. Perry, and then Mr. McDuffie, and Mr. Brown, and um, I guess Mr. Banks. All right. And then we'll do Jacobs, and then you, 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 you. Okay, well, I guess that's it. All, All right. He is ready to kick it away. Number 89 and number 8 set to return. Boom. He kicks it off. Number 89 fields it at the two. Ooh. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Iowa comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Oh, nice hit. Great play. Taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he shot on the stance like a Boom. And exploded into the backfield. Second down. Ball on the 19-yard line. Ace backfield. He's looking to pass. Down the middle. Oh, nice. There you go. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. That'll bring up third down. Third do, do, do. Twelve yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Hawks set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He lets it fly. Nice. Good job, Long. The defense held down the fort there. It'll be interesting to see what they decide to do now on the offensive side of the ball. Walker is back to receive. Come on. He punts it. Calls for the fair catch. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense. And they'll huddle up for this drive. Hmm. This drive will start at the 44. yard line. First and 10. Oregon sets up with four receivers. It's a direct snap. There we go, Perry. Good run. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. All right. second Oregon comes to the line. All new receivers getting PT. That's good. Please block for Mr. Perry, please. He would like to get yards. Here's the halfback. Nice run by Perry. Oh. That was going to be a touchdown. Kirk, my friend. This is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first downs. Yeah, Lee, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish line. Perry, the lone do, back. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh geez, well that didn't end well. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. They line up at the 39. Second and 12 coming up here. Hmm. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Whoa! And it's incomplete. Wow. Hey, he just overthrew him. Yeah, he just missed the ball. Good play call. Third and 12. Ball on the 39 and 12. Ball on the 39. Three wideouts here. Costa back to throw. Throws it. Na 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 na. Aww. Was that the same pass play again? If it wasn't, it sure looked like Uh, I'm in like a no man's land. I'm going to go for it. 
It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Nickel defense. Here we go. Looking. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, what? Try for the points there, guys. Really? Question, Brad. I would have lined up for the field goal try rather than go for it. This way, the game you should always be conservative. Take the three points if you can get them. That's what I would have done. Iowa goes with the ace set here. They give to the tailback. And he stopped behind the line. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. Second they line up at the 38. It's second down. Again, he'll get the call. Boom! Fumble! Defense recovers. Turnover number five for Iowa, and their star running backs hurt. Ooh. Hmm. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the fifth yard line. First and ten. The Ducks come out showing three wide. He passes it. Oh, jeez. Brings him down for a loss. Wow. So it's second and 13. Iowa comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Okay. Here we go. Looking to pass. Surveys the field. Throws it to the wow. That's I thought I stopped running, but hey, what do I know? Well, make it third down. Hmm. Third, third down, 13. Ball of the 40. 40 yard line. The defense comes out in the dime package. He drops back. He's looking. He na 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 had six points the receiver just same spot that was a tough catch I am not going for a field goal here small sigh of relief now and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down the defense is playing the pass on this one he rolls left he throws left someone got a hand Jeez. oh he had a shot at the pick should they have played that a little more conservatively and punted that one away? No. Yes, they should have. Now the other team gets the ball in great field position. Come on, D. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Setting up the play action. Number six throws. Really? He made a nice play to keep his foot in bound. I'm challenging that play. No real consequence if I lose, but... That's out of bounds. That, that, of course it does. First, first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ace backfield. Burrell drops back. Oh! Nice. Incomplete. Incomplete. Looking to his tight end that time. I'll tell you, if he'd have gotten that ball up a little bit, the tight end might have had a chance to catch this ball. Come on, D. The Hawkeye come out of the ace formation. Glover gets it on the inside. He jukes. Jeez. Lafita with a takedown at the 26. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. Iowa comes to the line with three wide. Burrell drops back on first down. Throws it to the outside. Intercepted by TJ Ward. Again, his he second of the day. Snatch that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. Hmm. 
They'll only start this drive at the nine. Over at the nine yard line. First and ten. They come out with three wide receivers. Oh, McDuffie is number one. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws it deep down. Oh, he stopped running. He stopped running. That's the only reason that free safety got over there to pick that. Jeez. Gosh darn, I can't do anything against the, these guys with my backups in. They'll set up shot at the 33. The Hawks line up with a single set back to you. Burrell hands it off. No, play fake. Jeez. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca Cola. Glover is the single setback. He rifles it. Got him again. Jeez. Arm, long brings him down at the 33 yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. The quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. Burrell comes to the line with three wide. Boom! There you go, Brooks. Good job. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Ace backfield. Burrell drops back. Across the middle. Oh, Ward with a huge hit. Nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. Come on, D. Single set backfield. They'll try to get the first on the ground. I got it. They pick up another first, guys. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have to do. Move the sticks. The Hawkeyes line up with two tight ends. Tackle made at the 21 yard line. A two yard run by the halfback. Second, Second down. down. Burrell with three wide receivers. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. Jeez. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room mm. for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. It's first and goal. They're in the red zone. They're in the eye. On play action. Ah, they got me. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They'll line it up for the extra point. And he 55 to, to 20. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Iowa lines up for an onside kick. Hot, psych. You think I was going to let you do that? All right, now let's try that again. There we go. All lined up for the onside here. Here goes nothing. They don't get the onside and that should be enough to seal the deal that's right seal it up sweetheart this one is oh they'll take over at the 45. the ducks come out of the ace formation brought down at the 43. perry comes away with two yards on the carry second they line up at the 43. second down Four wide receivers in the formation. Hot. Hot. Set to go to the air. He rolls out to the right. Na 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 na. Lupo with the touchdown. And one touchdown.
I don't get to kick the extra point? Really? Well, no question, Coach. Everything just fell into place out there, and nothing was going to stop these guys from getting the ball into the end zone many, many times. And this blowout is finally over. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, I really expected this to be a closer game. Iowa got flat out embarrassed, and these players sure look disappointed. They just got to learn to move on and try to improve. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2007. Our final score here today, Oregon 61. Iowa 20. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody. I just can't believe they wouldn't let me kick an extra point there at the end. Now it makes it look like I had to settle for a bazillion field goals when in reality I only had to settle for two. All right, well, we won 61 to 20, outgained him 668 to 398 in yards, outran him 313 to 44, outpassed him 355 to 354, uh, sacked three times, only sacked them twice. I went 6 of 13 on third downs, they went 4 of 9. I was 1 of 3 on fourth downs, they didn't attempt one. I won the turnover battle 6 to 1, and I dominated time of possession by almost 16 minutes. And then let's see, Sam Brown at 20 of 27 for 315 with one, uh, four scores and no picks. And ran the ball 18 times for 135 and a score. Costa went 2 of 9 for 40 yards with a score and a pick. Ty Hall had 24 carries for 159 and two scores in his first start ever. And Perry had four carries for 19 yards in scrub time. Curtis Walker had 12 catches for 212 and three scores. And Adam Fuller had eight catches for 103 and a score. Lupo had a 43-yard touchdown reception. On defense, TJ Ward had seven tackles, two interceptions, and two pass deflections. Six tackles, three for loss, and a sack by number 27. Six tackles, four for loss for Tony Haley. And Fafita had five tackles and a pick. And then Long had four tackles. Martin had three... No. Freshman Kyle Mino, Minucci, the freshman defensive uh, end, three tackles, two for loss, and a sack. Martin had three tackles. It was pretty spread out, so, yep. And then for Iowa, their star quarterback went 15 of 26 for 275 with two scores and three picks. And the backup went 5 of 7 for 65 yards, a score and a pick. Number 8 was held to 31 yards on 18 carries, completed a 14-yard pass. And let's see, number 89 had 5 catches for 109 and a score. 86 had 4 for 93. 5 for 78 and a score for Roker, and Hill had a 35-yard score. And Clark had 2 for 24. But anyway, that's all she wrote. You guys saw me dominate number 6 Iowa on the road to start the year. Awesome way to start out a season. Got a lot of work to do with my backups, though, and scrub time. Anyway, with that being said, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave your likes and comments down below. And be sure to check out my other videos. And if you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe to my Quarter and Joshu TV channels as well. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day.